cake, it's not a good idea, is it? Right, we'll put Bob back in his hole. Come on, boy. Look, camera's coming down on me. Right, it's a glorious morning today, and uh, we're back up at Madford Engineering. So this morning, I'm just gonna go and dig Bob out of his hole now, as Mick calls it, um, whilst avoiding the mud, and uh, get him over into the workshop. Today, I think, got a couple of options really. You can either, whoop, just navigate in this mud. Um, can either take the LPG tank out, which I think is gonna be an effort. Um, we can, take off the wings or start the process of taking the wings off uh, or we can do the tub but to do the tub we've got to take the um, the LPG tank off anyway so I think what we'll do today probably start the wings I haven't got too much time this morning because I need to get back and uh, spend a bit of time with the family so I think we'll start stripping the wings off if it takes ages and carry it on next week when we're next down here but such a lovely morning it was nice to get out and uh, let's get Bob out from under his cover and uh, you can watch me drive him out in this um, this bog, it's, uh, it's pretty boggy out here. Mick, uh, Mick was just saying that when he was putting Bob away the other night or the other morning, he was giving him a bit of trouble uh, and it's because I'd slipped him back into uh, high range. So um, he needed low range to engage the four wheel drive because Bob's selector for four wheel drive in high range doesn't work. So uh, you have to drop him in low regardless, but low is great for this anyway. So stick him out and then uh, we'll get him in the workshop. Should have bought my wellies. I always say this. It's so uh, boggy on this section. It's where uh, all the water runs off the fields over the back there, Mick was saying. There we go. It's good cover this actually. If anyone's uh, watching and needs a cover for their 109 or 88 or whatever you've got. Um, got it off um, eBay for 40 quid. 43 quid, something like that. And uh, it's fully waterproof, fleecy kind of lining on the inside. So it uh, just helps if you've got nice bodywork, not to scratch it. Obviously I'm not really bothered on Bob, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, definitely worth a look. If, you, if you've followed the channel for a while, you know that I've had a couple of covers in the past. So a Richbrook cover, which they do make them for these, which uh, is probably a good shout if you're be taking it on and off a lot because it's custom built um or not custom built tailor made um but if you just want a cheap one just to keep some of the water out then oh, those ones on ebay are good if you uh drop a comment if you want the link and i'll try and find it out right we're ready bob no choke let's see how he does beautiful He's great. The only thing with Bob now is when he's on this tick over, is he, give him a bit of choke to bring the revs up, but he doesn't, he doesn't like choke a lot. So after he's been on choke for a minute, he starts sounding like he's gonna stall anyway, but you can't give him any revs without the choke being on because of that spring issue. So when the choke's on, it pulls that spring tighter and it's more responsive, but without it, it's, uh, without the choke on, that spring's got too much um, too much play in it and it just doesn't it doesn't rev, it just stalls. So we'll let him tick over on that for a sec, warm up, and then we'll be gone.
How much did you say these are worth? That in your hand there is about 100 quid. 100 quid, is the L. And you can just pop it out like that? Yeah, I know. Right, that one was an absolute bugger. You can see it's uh, really rusty inside, so that was kind of holding it back a bit. And on this side, this one's in a lot better condition, so that was just easy, just push in, twist. That one, absolute bugger. So we're gonna start taking the electrics out of the wings, and then it means when we start undoing the wings, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier get the wires all pulled through then we just bolt them off so that's what we're doing what is all this tape's not a good idea is it Right, let's put Bob back in his hole. Come on, boy. Look, camera's coming down on me. Let's try and do this one-handed. Is it Bobalicious? Yeah, baby. Beautiful. Good old Bob. I can't wait to get Bob back on the road. I absolutely bloody love driving him. Didn't manage to get that much done today, so managed to get the headlights out at the front. That second one was an absolute bugger. The first one just twisted, pulled out beautifully. Second one was kind of rusted in, really fiddly to get out. So, um, yeah, I didn't really get what I wanted to get done today. The uh, under the bonnet just started stripping out some of the wires now. So we're going to strip out all the wiring from both wings. So the one from the left hand wing will pull all the wires through uh, or come back through onto the right hand side. And then we should be able to just start stripping the wings off. But um, it's probably going to be a job now for next week in the evenings when Liam's back. So Liam's been on holiday, which is why he hasn't been around. But um, once he's back, we're going to hit Bob hard, I think, and try and get him sorted. I was saying to Mick this morning, I'd really like to get Bob ready for August and my birthday's um, the 1st of August. So if we get him done for August time, that'd be absolutely sweet. I'm on holiday the first week of it, but then when I come back, just get out and about in him because this is just awesome. Um, next jobs as well. So we'll strip the LPG out. We're having a look in here earlier about how it's isolated and stuff like that. So this needs to come out. I'm probably going to sell this kit, so I'll sell the whole lot. So if anybody watching has got a Land Rover and you want an LPG kit for it, um, when I take it out, I'll pop it up for sale. So that'll go. But um, yeah, if you're interested, drop a, drop a note down in the comments and we can chat. Um, but yeah, so we'll probably log back in in the week, finish off getting the wings off, LPG out, tub off, and then we can start having a look at what we need to do with the chassis, whether it gets shot blasted or are we going to uh, just needle gun it and attack it like that and get all that old uh, bitumen wax oily stuff off that the military have put on just to see what the chassis is like, get it cleaned off, paint it and then uh, get, get the tub back on. So there's a, there's a breaker 
Land Rover over there, Series 3, that we've got the tub for. So the tub's going to go on because Bob's is pretty wrecked like we showed you in the last one. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm just really excited to get going. So. Right, guys, well, if you're enjoying the content, do drop a like and subscribe on the channel. Check out the description for Mad Forward Engineering's links as well. So come and check Mick out on his Twitch and on his YouTube channel. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video.